Hello there guys. Well, finally I'm getting on to making part two. The, um, I made part one quite some time ago, but I've been very busy making pickups and the YouTube stuff has gone by the wayside a little bit, but we're going to try and get some more videos done. And to that end, I have the arrival of a fantastic new camera, a front facing one, which has actually got... Uh, you know, I can see myself while I'm filming. I know if I'm in, in focus, if I know if I'm actually in the shot. Gone are the days whereby I really shot pickups, I would go, I would set up the camera, go around, take some footage, get back into shot, come back around, look at the footage, head's not in. Do it again. Very frustrating. And something that just took a ridiculous amount of time. And it wasn't conducive to making a good video. So get on with this about the Edwards, right? I had quite a lot of fun doing this, I've got to be honest. And I did, the, the really the sort of idea of the video was sprucing, you know, sprucing up a guitar and taking this guitar, which I got for what, 250 quid, something like that. Um, imported it from Japan and just gonna make it sound like a better guitar, really. You know, all new pickups, all new everything. But anyway, I put it out to you guys and I said to you, what should I do to this guitar? And a lot of you said, you should do, I don't know, gold hardware, you should do this, that, the other. In the end, um, I had lots of recommendations for the bridge. The one thing I was gonna keep was the Goto tuners here, which I just thought were really good. Really good standard, I love Goto stuff. Um, not sponsored by Goto, I should point out. I just do like their stuff. I think it always makes an improvement to any guitar I use it on. I wanted to get a Goto bridge on. And anyway, what happened next was, something I wasn't expecting. I started typing in Goto, you know, I don't know, f bridge or whatever it was, on eBay, and it was, I don't know, 90 quid, let's say, right? But then I found this Relic one from the Relic, Goto's Relic range for much, much less, okay? And that kind of shaped where the project went. It was a full a tremolo assembly, and it was relic and it's, it's very tastefully relic uh, But yeah, I bought that. And then it, it, you know, as soon as I got that, I got it on the guitar and it, it kind of sculpted the, the rest of the guitar and where it was going to go, okay? So from there I put that on and I installed it and I thought, well, I can't really leave this as a non-relic now. So the next step was to put in a new guard. I got the guys at Tiny Tone in Manchester to make me a guard because the old guard wasn't just, just an off the shelf. Um, even made in Japan, Strat one. It, it, you know, it was, it's actually a 22 fret, and you've got this, not an overhang, but actually it's just a longer neck. I don't know if you can see there, there's the 21st, and there's the 22nd, making it a longer neck, not an actual overhang, as with a lot of Strats. So um, I, I couldn't just get an off the shelf one, so I sent off the original uh, pickguard over to Tiny Tone, and they made me this gold anodized one which I then relicked ever so slightly. It's quite hard to relic, uh, get a gold anodized. Um, as things were sort of developing with this project, you know, obviously the guitar body started to look to me like, well, look, that needs to be kind of relicked. So here's a little bit of footage of me having a bit of a go at it. Tried to keep it tasteful, but you know, get some wear on it, and I'm really pleased with that. Look at that, I think it's beautiful. It's, it's now been set up, looks really good, plays lovely. I'm getting used to this, um, what do you call it, soft V neck. I really like that now. Um, I'm actually thinking about switching back to white pickguard, not because I don't like this, I just, I don't know, I'm a bit of a traditionalist. Um, and actually what, what it will be good, this will be a good guitar as a mule um, for us to have, let's say, one set of pickups in and then I can just switch it over and do a demo video of another set of pickups. So to that end as well, I think that this will actually interchange. I think we'll have anodized with some certain pickups set and then you might see it again with the white one on there. This has got the black one set in there. A set which, um, 
many of you ask me, what does that set sound like? And I haven't been able to give you any clips until now. I met a rather lovely chap from Swansea called Lee Fuge, who has a fantastic channel. I'll send you a link there. I would love it if you pop over. Like us, he sort of teeters around the sort of, I don't know, four or 5,000 subscribers, which is absolutely fantastic. But I feel that more people should know about Lee's content. I would love it if you'd head, head over this gear reviews, how to use things. I think he's gonna be having a teaching section on that. Well worth following Lee. Get over now, click. Right, anyway, that's the big shout out for Lee which is very, very warranted, I think. Now, what does it sound like? Lee, over to you. I did do a little video. I'm not being completely faithful because I did say that I would put the old Seymour Duncans up against this black one set. Um, to be honest, Lee is a much better player than me. I think we should just hear what they sound like in a really good setup. So, it's not quite the A-B video that I'd intended in the beginning, but does it matter? You're finally going to hear the black one set. The black one set. What is it? Well, I'll tell you what it is. It is a customer request, effectively. We never actually really intended to make a black one set. Uh, as you can guess from the title, it's inspired by John Mayer. So it's, you know, it's a set to those sorts of specs, really. Um, and somebody came to us, somebody who was very prominent within the sort of Mayer um, fan pages and things like that and said look I've got specs I've got specs from an actual black one um, I've got a lot of inf inside information they, they said we weren't supposed to tell anybody who it was so I'm gonna protect the name here I don't know what happens to him if people find out nothing bad I hope but um, basically yeah he gave us lots of information which was from within different sources really um, I don't want to talk about those but I have very good confidence in the accuracy. We were given outputs of pickups, the wire choices. We were given the the, the, the height of, that, of of magnets. We were given the stagger setup, and we created from this set what we believe is the closest uh, black one inspired by John Mayer set out there. I probably talked about it enough. To recap on the guitar a little bit, I love this guitar now. Do you know what, the other day, I looked at it and thought, oh, I'm not really getting on with that strat. You know what it's like, you leave it for a bit and you think, hmm, I'm not sure I'll get, I'll get rid of that. I'll sell it and get another one. And I just started playing it and, you know, weird. I was like, Man, this is a really good strat. What are, you, what are you thinking? You're an idiot. And I, I've kept it. I was twitching to get rid of it. <laughs> I certainly wouldn't be getting rid of it before I've made part two. That would be your idiotic. Anyway, the more I played it, weirdly, when I was tucking um, my daughter in to bed, I would, you know, pick up a strap to have a little noodle on while I waited for her to go to sleep in the next room. And I just spent a lot of the time with it and I thought, oh man, this is lovely. So, it's been a lot of fun doing this guitar project. I would do it again. I think I might be doing one soon. Um, I love the colour, I love the anodized. thank you to Tiny Tone. Big shout out to them as well. Give them a chance. If you need any loaded pick guards, they're the guys. You send them the original or you send them a drawing and they'll cook it up for you. Uh, obviously they specialise in the weird and wonderful really. You know, I mean, they, they wouldn't so much do your sort of off the shelf strap loaded pick, you know, pick guard because lots of people do that. But if you've got, I don't know, like a Guild's S60D, which needs a new pick guard, there you guys, or the GNL, you know, you send your guard and they will make you a new one. Lots and lots of variety, lots of um, ones that you can choose from. I went with the Alnico, Alnico, Alnico? Anodized, gold anodized. Right, anyway, enough witchering. Should we just hear this set? Thanks for watching this little, little series, guys. Sorry I had to wait so long for the second part there. Uh, won't do it to you again. Check out the video, Leaf Huge.